So let's read our problem, and it says that we have an awful lot of molecules of NH3, and we need to know what the mass of these particles are. So over here, we're going to write grams, because we want to end with grams. Now we want to know how many grams this many molecules is, so let's start with all these molecules. 8.30 times 10 to the 24th molecules. And I know it takes a little while, but write out the word molecules, because if you don't, you might get it mixed up with the word mole. Now here's the problem. I read the problem given to me and I don't see the word mole. This is mass in grams. This is little particles, which we call molecules. But I don't see the word mole anywhere. So think back to your molar map. Mole was always in the center. You had particles up here. You had mass in grams over here. And you had the volume of a gas in liters there. Now if you don't see the word mole, which we don't, we see mass and particles, you're going to have to go to the mole and then get rid of moles and keep going. So we're going to start with particles because we're given an awful lot of particles. We're going to convert to the mole, then we're going to go from the mole to the mass. So we have a two-step problem. If you saw the word mole, if this said how many moles is that, or this said what's the mass of this many moles, you'd be all set, one step. But because you don't see the word mole anywhere, you need to do two steps. So Let's cancel out molecules. Let's go to mole. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of anything is equal to a mole, if we're talking about particles. And then we want to cancel out moles. One goes with mole. And then we have to convert to grams. Now this is where the periodic table comes in, into play. Every single time you have to figure out the mass of something, you need to look at the periodic table. So we've got nitrogen. On the periodic table, it's 14 grams for one mole. Hydrogen, there's 3 times 1.0, so that equals 3.0 grams. And then if we add 14 and 3 up together, we know that one mole is going to equal a grand total of 17 grams for this substance, for NH3. Other substances have a different molar mass, so you have to look at the periodic table, figure out how many atoms of everything are in there, multiply them all by their molar mass, uh, add up the subtotals, get your grand total. All right, so this times 1 divided by that times 17 divided by 1 equals, and whatever you get is the mass of that many particles. So two steps. If you don't see the word mole in the problem, if it's not here or there, then you have to go to the mole and then go from the mole to the other unit.